So last night the greenhouse didn't just collapse, it, it blew away. It was really windy. It's been catching a lot of wind at the side of the building. And um, fortunately it happened, it was about half past nine. So me and Trevor were both in, we heard a mighty crash and came out and the greenhouse was like blown over here and there's like a communal parking area. So luckily we were able to grab it before it went into where the cars are. I had reglazed it um, a lot with the polycarbonate, but recently a lot of those had popped out, so they weren't actually in. And most of the glass was roof, so I think the wind had gotten in underneath. I'm really annoyed that I left the glass in the roof. I thought it would help anchor it down, but the reason I put the polycarbonate in was because of the problem with the, the smashed glass last year getting everywhere. So there's, there's not really any overhead light in here, so Trevor had his uh, camping torch on, and we went over the car park area because there was lots of shards of glass. Um, I don't think that I will re, um, re put another greenhouse up because there's just not any any space for it to go. And this is the spot where it was. I think it might make a nice flower bed. Oh, you know, the grass had already been starting to reclaim it. There's some glass that we didn't get last night. This is kind of out of the way, but we're just having a go at this now. Again, that's why I'm so annoyed because we're just dealing with the broken glass area. Anyway, my plan now is to just get it in the skip and uh, I think it's had it, hasn't it really? It's not done very well from the very beginning and you can see how bent up the frame is. I don't think a bit of Gorilla Tape and wood is going to help it now. I'm just about ready to get my seeds in as well, so that's kind of annoying. I'm going to get as much as I can. Um, well, it's, it's probably a few weeks, but it's the potato day tomorrow. There is one at Montford Bridge, which is by Shropshire Organic Gardeners. And if you're local, there's also one at Harper Adams on Sunday, which is the potato day that I did a video for last year. So I'll link those both below. Um, I was going to get my seeds and things from there and then look at putting them in but really I've got a few weeks yet to do that I think I can start stuff on the windowsill and maybe get a cold frame outside rather than having a, a big structure there just isn't really room for it like this area where the greenhouse is now is actually the car park and the bit of the garden that we're using it's not actually ours it belongs to the guy upstairs so I, there isn't anywhere I can put something in and it's just too blowy around the side to, to put the greenhouse back there so I'm not going to do that but I don't know it's going to be the tomatoes that I think I, I did well with tomatoes outside last year but I loved having the greenhouse just full of all of those varieties of tomatoes and I've saved quite a lot of seed but maybe maybe I'll be able to get them outside I don't know we'll see it's annoying it's very annoying but it could have been a lot worse it's so fortunate at the time it happened that we were both in and the neighbor across the way came over as well and helped us just drag the frame back up here out of the way so it's not the end of the world but it is a big irritation i will see you again on wednesday with another allotment video which i will have some um filming from the potato day for you to show you and hopefully it'll be on a more positive note thanks for watching guys bye bye